What's up, Ravens? Welcome to another edition of ONW Now. This is Kenya Fergoso alongside Haley Pitcairn. Congratulations to the robotics team for winning their Chairman's Award in Chicago last week. And our congratulations to our e-communications program for bringing home five awards from the Student Television Network in Dallas. That's right. Let's take it to a recap. STN stands for Student Television News Network and it is a uh, collaboration of over 40 states that have student broadcasting groups that join this one organization. This past week, the film and broadcast departments of e-communication here at ONW visited the Student Television Network Conference in Dallas, Texas. This conference, which lasted three days, held sessions, contests, and had various speakers to challenge and improve students' work in the film industry. The Student Television Network convention is an opportunity for students to see the work of their peers and compare their abilities with kids from around the nation. Overall, the Olathe Northwest students performed very well. The entertainment students brought home four awards, including first place in the Sweet 16 Film Festival and second place in the music video category. These awards also include a special honor for Andrew Lovgren, a senior here at Northwest. He won Best Cinematography and Best Documentary for his film, Freeling, at the film festival. It's pretty much unheard of that a documentary would win a cinematography award, so when they said Best Cinematography, I was, I think I was like the last person to jump up. Here are some of the highlights from the trip. What took you so long? Sorry. Welcome to Magic Rosso. Dallas, home to the 2012 STN convention and the greatest student videographers in the nation. This is STN 2012. Think. Share. Create. For ONW Now, I'm Shelby Ostrom. Seniors, if you have not received your graduation announcements and they are paid for in full, please stop by the front office as soon as possible to pick them up. The annual Mr. Raven competition will be held Monday, April 2nd at 6.30 p.m. Come out for a few laughs and lasting memories. Let's take it to a commercial. <clears throat> Mr. Raven, featuring many of your fellow senior men. Come watch on April 2nd in the auditorium. Tickets will be sold for $5 at lunch from March 22nd through April 2nd, or $7 at the door. Who will be Mr. Raven? If you are interested in trying out for the 2012-2013 Raven Dance Team and have not yet obtained a trial application, please visit our website to obtain the information. Clinics begin Monday at 6 p.m. Now let's take it to Harsimarin and Leslie for Game Day Northwest. Welcome to Game Day Northwest. I'm Hart Simran, and that's Leslie. Let's get this started. The girls' swim team won their opening meet, defeating all the elite schools. Also, congrats to Allison Thomas on the dive team, who broke the school dive record by 100 points in her first meet. The boys' tennis team has been working hard so far this season. Haley Pitt, Karen got to sit down with two of the varsity players and talk about the season. 
The Olathe Northwest boys tennis team has much potential this season, with sophomore Dominic Fabiano and senior Trevor Moy leading the team individually and in doubles teams. The Ravens will kick their first match of the season off successfully. I sat down with these two players to get more information about the season. Um, my favorite part about being on the tennis team is, you know, just being with the team and spending quality time with my doubles partner and getting to know everybody. Um, the varsity team is a smaller team of six people, so you get like a, a closer, more family kind of feel, like vibing. Um, played Blue Eye North this year. Uh, they've won state last four years, so probably them or Blue Valley Northwest. Good this year. We have a few. Uh, underclassmen that are really good and they are supposed to be going to state projected wise. The Ravens tennis team is coached by Tim Oberhelman and assisted by Justin Slavin. Other leaders for the team consist of senior Tim Mays and junior Kip Unruh. Uh, my personal goal is to make it to state with my doubles partner Dominic Fabiano. Uh, my personal goal for this season is definitely to uh, just make it to state, see how well we can do, uh, finish top in the league, um, do really good at regionals. We hope the boys start off the season strongly and only progress throughout the season. For the Raven Daily, this has been Haley Pitcairn. Thanks, Haley. Our defending state champion softball team has been crushing their competition this season, winning their first two games against Shawnee Mission North, 16-1 and 13-4. The baseball team lost a tough game on Tuesday, but over the past weekend, they won the Rob Jones Tournament, beating two city rivals along the way. Ryan Wilkins spoke with pitch and shortstop Tyler Day. The baseball team's off to a great start this season, and I got to sit down with Tyler Day to talk about the baseball team and his future with baseball. I've uh, played baseball my whole life, and ever since I could swing a bat and throw a ball. The team's record is 2-1 and so far this season, and they are still continuing to go strong. I feel like we're going to do pretty good. Uh, we're looking good so far, and uh, hopefully we can continue to succeed. Probably the decision to go play in college next year. That's my ultimate goal, and then hopefully move on from there to hopefully play professional one day. Tyler has chosen to go to Cali College to continue his baseball career. I'm going to go to Cali because really good baseball, and then hopefully be able to start shortstop and be a closer there, and the baseball team's fourth in the nation. Tyler also talks about how he stays in shape during the offseason. Um, work out, go to the gym, swing in my basement. I have a little net I hit into, and... This is Coach Setter's second season of being head coach of the baseball team. Um, I think he'll be better, um, you know, learn a few things every single year. And so far, you know, his thoughts have been really productive. Tyler has but one goal for himself on the baseball team. Uh, win a state championship would be the ultimate goal. This has been Ryan Wilkin. Back to you at the desk. Shrek has a big meet today at Baker later on today. Tanner Music and Ben Hover got a chance to sit down on with the preview of the season with senior Bruce Doherty on the beat. Hi, I'm Bruce Doherty and I run track and field for Olathe Northwest. Coach Ewers has been trying to get me to do track since sophomore year. And this year I was like, Coach Ewers, you know what? I'm going to step up to the plate. I'm going to run some track. I run the 400 and 800, um, both in relays and open probably, and I am going to do long jump possibly. Um, I think we're, we're pretty solid, pretty good. We have Avery Parker and Leslie Lindsay. They went to state last year and they returned this year, so probably go back and we got strong people like Alex Anthony and myself, so hopefully we can get some good state qualifiers. Um, next meet is actually this afternoon and I'm running the open 400 and the 4x800 meter relay so it's gonna be a fun time. I love our coaches. We have Coach Ewers, Coach Franklin, Coach Dane, Coach Anderson, Coach Barnes. I love them all. They all just, they, it's a great bunch of people to be around and they all get you hyped up and enthusiastic and I love it. On Tuesday, the Lady Ravens soccer beat Blue Valley North 4-1, but took their first loss of the season to Washburn Rural last night. Reminder, all wrestlers not in a spring sport need to attend a meeting Wednesday, Monday after school in the wrestling room concerning off-season conditioning. Well, that's all for Game Day Northwest. Back to you ladies at the desk.
Anyone interested in running for a student council officer position needs to pick up a packet from Ms. Ingalls and complete it by Monday, April 2nd. Senior Ravens, be sure to stop by the front office today for a graduation banner order form, an awesome way to announce your graduation to friends and neighbors. These large banners are 18 by 72 inches. There are three different banner style options available and they can include your senior picture. Pick up your Angry Bird Sunflower League Championship t-shirt celebrating the domination performance of your men and women's basketball teams this season. Shirts are $10. Stop by Coach Branstrom's room to purchase your Angry Bird shirt in room 1115. There is only a limited amount, so first come, first serve. Let's take it to Connor Smith and Michael Thurman for App of the Week. of the week coming back at you week three new app it's good to have you back on it it's great to be back we're coming at you this week curveballs fastballs sliders that's right it's baseball it's flick home run flick home run is a simple yet challenging game you swipe your finger across the screen to hit the ball as far as possible the ball is thrown to you at different speeds and curves increasing in difficulty from level to level there are five different types of game modes Minor and Major Modes, Multiplayer, Moonstar Mode, and Training Mode. Minor and Major Modes, you hit as many home runs as you can, and as far as you can. The farther and more home runs you hit, the higher you rank up. Ranking up improves your batting power and contact. It also improves your batting eye, which allows you to see some of the pitches before they are thrown. There's a various amount of pitches and movements on the ball, ranging from curves, sliders, and even the wacky ninja ball. Well, that's all we have for you on this week's edition of App of the Week. On behalf of Michael Thurman, this has been Connor Smith, and we'll be back with another great app. Well, that's all we have for you today, Ravens. Have a fantastic weekend. For King of Fergoso, I'm Haley Pitcairn.